Hi, Ivy. How are you doing? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing really good. I'm glad. Thank you for being here with me today. Yes. I'm excited to be designing your outfit for this photo shoot that I have in mind. Yes. So I'm really excited to be working with you today. So for our first session here today, I'm just going to be asking you a little bit about what you're looking for as far as the gown I will be designing and creating with my team. Okay. Then I'm going to be grabbing some measurements for you and we will go from there. Okay, great. The, the only specifications that I have is that I would like it to be like a, a formal gown, something elegant. You might wear it to a wedding, um, like a, a fancy reception, okay. something along those lines. Did we have a color that we were thinking about? So I would go with like a dark color, either like dark blue, or it could be dark green, or maybe even dark. black. Okay. I'm seeing a lot of warm tones in your hair. Like I, I love the warm complexion that we have going on with the earrings as well. I think to contrast that, a blue would be a nice okay. option. So I'm going to go ahead and write down dark blue for you but we do want to tie it in with the warmer tones. So I'm thinking gold accents, if that's something oh, that, you're, I love that, yeah. that you're on board with. How did you want the length to be? Did you want it to be um, shorter or longer? I can do long. Long. Yeah, if it's kind of like a night gown okay. for it to be long. Do you like to wear heels when you go out or do you like flats? I usually, uh, I don't know, it could go either way. Either I don't way. like wearing heels. Okay, I will add a little bit of length then to, with the intention of having it being worn with heels. Okay, how about the upper neck area? Do we have a certain look? Some options I can think of would be spaghetti straps, you could do strapless, you could do something around the neck, you could do uh, a v-neck, I do love like a high neck. A high neck. Um, yeah, I, I always really like that look. Okay. How are we feeling about sleeves for this? We could be sleeveless, you could do a high neck with no sleeves, so it would be like kind of coming up and really framing the face, or you could do a mid sleeve, or you could even go as far as doing a long sleeve. Hmm. I think we, I, I would prefer either no sleeves or long sleeve. Okay. I feel weird about like a sleeve. <laughs> a slight sleeve. Like, I got yeah. you. <laughs> I got you. As I'm envisioning this gown, I'm kind of thinking a no sleeve look okay. is going to be really complimentary. You have very beautiful skin, so we want to be sure to show that off a little bit, but not too much. Okay. So we're going to go like with that. no sleeves. Now for the gold accents, I'm thinking we could do a few different options. Go ahead and let me know which option you'd prefer. We could do gold sea waves that kind of spiral along the dress. We could do stripes, either horizontal or vertical stripes. We could do flowers, like have a nice be like a, a rose-esque mm -hmm. type design patterned all throughout. I wouldn't necessarily recommend this, but you could do like a giraffe or a zebra or a cheetah or some kind of animal print okay. if that's what your heart desires. Um, do any of those catch your eye? I probably would go with more of a floral. A floral. Yeah, I'm not really into the animal print. <laughs> Me neither, so that's okay. a good choice. <laughs> okay, now that I have those notes, I'm just going to ask you to sit tight and I'm just going to do a little base sketch what I think this dress's vision is going to be. We are going to start out with a high neck. I'm envisioning your hair down, maybe parted to the side. I see it's in some nice curls right now, so yeah. we are going to stick with that. I'm going to bring it down. You have a nice small waist, which we are going to be highlighting and making sure that it falls with just a little bit of room for the heels. Just going to pencil in this design really fast. In this drawing, you're going to be 
holding a champagne glass to <laughs> signify okay. I hope you fun can party give me time. that champagne glass at some point. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be waiting Make for that it. real, yeah. <laughs> I'm ready. <laughs> okay, and then I'm just going to be adding a really loose idea of the kind of florals that we have. This sketch is going to be a bit messy, but it does give a basic design as to what, a basic idea as to what the design is going to look like once it's finished. We're going with elegance, but also a little bit of intrigue, like a slight bit of mystery. I like that. Mm -hmm. Trying to get the best of all worlds here. Just going to be adding in a few more details and just finding the edges. Like I said, this is just a really basic sketch just to have a slight, slightly bolder vision. I'm going to be adding just a little left line, the face as well as the hair. But because it's just a sketch, it's just going to be giving like a, a nice oh. broad look. Yeah. So I will I go, go ahead and show the camera what the vision is. So we have our champagne glass and we do have a nice high neck. Uh, and we have the, the train of the dress coming all the way down to the floor. If you're wearing the dress without heels, it might be a little bit bungy at the bottom, but with the heels, it will be a great fit. Okay. I'm just going to go ahead and set this aside and I'm just going to start measuring your upper body for now. Okay. Alrighty, Ivy, I'm just going to go ahead and title this piece of paper, Ivy's Dress Measurements. Just going to be going ahead and doing basic measurements. I'm just going to set this yeah, here on your lap if that's okay, just so I can go ahead and try it down as we go. And go ahead and just hold your head up and relax. I'm going to start off with the neck, since that's going to be kind of the focal point of this dress. Okay. I'm going to be taking a look at the width from the neckline to the shoulder. does not have sleeves, it's still important to know the length of the arms to make sure that everything is cinched where it should be. you to raise your arm, your right arm out like this. Go ahead and hold it. Great. Okay. All right, now I'm going to ask you to stand up and I'm going to remove your chair for you. Bring your arms out to 
just a tiny bit. I'm just going to measure the waist here. Ivy, I have the base measurements for the dress. I'm gonna go ahead and start to work and I will see you again next week and okay. we will go ahead and try the dress on and get ready for the photo shoot. Okay, awesome. I'll see you then. Thanks. Okay, Ivy, what do you think of the dress that I have designed for I love you? It. I really, really like it. It's, Yay. it's also very comfortable. Okay, that is yeah. definitely very important, yeah. especially if you're going to be wearing it for several hours at a time. We definitely want to maximize the comfort. Yeah. I'm going to go ahead and do some finishing touches here okay. just to get ready for the photo shoot. The first being, I'm going to ask you to let down your hair. I can take that hair tie from you. Thank you. going to just grab a little baby comb here I love the look that we have going on with the hair here I'm gonna ask you to flip it over your from your left shoulder we're gonna have the hair tumbling down your right shoulder perfect perfect I'm gonna go ahead and adjust the tiny bit just to smooth out the top and a little bit of bounce to these curls. I'm gonna have that nice little face framing piece as well. To be able to show off the design of the dress will also complement your hair. closer to the camera so you can see so I can see how they look in the different light settings that we have I definitely like the pearl look as it does foster a sense of elegance we have these floral pearls which might bring everything together with the floral theme without going too hard so that's what I'm going to do for now and then we can see how it looks I'm just going to put the comb back in my pocket I'm going to take I'm just going to do this set of clips for now. Go ahead and relax. I'm just going to reach up and clip just the back. Bring it forward a bit so it can be seen by the camera. I love the way that that looks. Just going to add in one more for the sake of everything being a little bit streamlined. I'm going to add, mm -hmm. add in this floral design as well. Just going to gently reach up and pin this with the other one. Now because this is just for a photo shoot and you're not wearing this out for the night, 
I'm going to just use it to zhuzh the hair a little bit. You wouldn't quite do it like this if you were going to be out all night, but because this is just a photo shoot, it adds a little bit of extra volume. So I'm just going to go ahead and put some of these threads into place. None of the gold is coming off. Just gently moving the hairs. Moving these bone strands. any imperfections in the bottom detailing of the dress. I know we have socks on at the moment, but I really love the way that the length is falling as you're standing here. With heels, it will fall perfectly. I'm just gonna go ahead, feel how the fabric falls around your legs, making sure that there's enough room for comfortable walking. I'm just going to play with the way that this falls on the floor. loose threads I'm just going to remove from the back here. looking a lot good from this side. I'm just going to go around over here and clean up any imperfections. There's a few little dandelion spores. I'm just going to gently remove. I love the way that the dress is falling on your body. More of the spores. And now we're just going to remove a bit of loose thread. Okay, Ivy, I'm just going to ask you to go ahead and do a little spin in a circle for the camera here so I can see the way that the dress is falling. For the photo shoot, you are going to be sitting, but I just wanted to include a look at what the full dress looks like. Okay. What do you think? I love that. Perfect. All right, you can go ahead and hop down from there now, and I'm going to go ahead and pull over the chair. Okay. All right, Ivy, I am loving how this shoot is coming out so or you can go ahead and just relax. I'm going to be doing some finishing touches to your hair, making sure that we can see the clips.
just brushing out the curls a tiny, tiny bit to give it a little bit more volume. We are going to want to be increasing the shine for the look as well, so I have a little bit of hair oil here with me. Just going to be drawing it through the ends of the hair, scrunching it up to make sure that the curl that the curls still hold a bit of their form. There's a bit of shine to the skin as well. I do have a tiny bit of hair wax here. Just going to be lathering it onto my fingers, applying it to the top of the head to make sure that the flyaways nice and pressed down. If you turn your chin towards me for just a second, so I can take a look at the other side of the face here. up your lips here. Go ahead and relax. And rub your lips together. Perfect. be giving you this champagne glass. I would like you to hold it in your right hand. I'm going to take a step behind the camera and see how this is looking. I'm just going to go ahead and adjust a few things here. Great. I'm going to ask you to go ahead and strike some poses while I take some pictures. Lovely. I love the elegance that you are conveying. Go ahead and hold that pose, but draw the glass out away from your body. This yes. side? Yep. Okay. Mm -hmm. Perfect. And now look look over at my hand over here. Perfect. Now smile. And smile over here at my hand. Great. And now smile up here. And over at me in center. Great. Go ahead and experiment as well with uncrossing the legs. Perfect. Perfect. I love the way that you're looking at that champagne glass right now. You're making <laughs> it look very appetizing. <laughs> Fortunately, it is just sparkling water for this shoot today, but it's always fun to have a bit of fun. Oh, that's disappointing. <laughs> <laughs> 
I'm going to go ahead and swap out your props now. I will take this and we are going to replace it with one of these books. I'm going to have you, the vibe that I'm going for is you are the fancy guest at the party who has wandered away to read from the main unfurling events. Lovely. Great. I can flip through the pages as if hunting for a new idea. Now you can look up over here at me as if you were just interrupted by a friend. <laughs> and now you can go back to read it. Okay. Great. Now you can turn the pages really slowly. Great. Lovely. I'm going to go ahead and take this prop away. Now I'm going to go ahead and draw the camera in for a close-up. I'm going to have you look directly at the camera on strike some poses as well. So you can really show off the curls in your hair. You have such an elegant, graceful way about you that I think this outfit and this look really highlights. So appreciate that. Great. Great. And now smile. Lovely. Okay, and I'm just going to casually adjust you. Just fix the color here. Go ahead and relax. I'm just going to adjust this slightly to make it full. I think that it looks a little bit more natural. Actually, bring this side of the hair out as well. Okay. I'm gonna have you lean forward just a tiny bit, as if you're about to get up, but not really. Great. And I'm gonna step out of the frame and just have you look straight at the camera. I love it. I think that I got a ton of really great looks today with you, Ivy. It was such a pleasure filming with you. I loved everything from the designing of the dress to doing your final touches with your makeup and hair. So. Yeah, this was so much fun. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. I had a great time too. It was a pleasure working with you. Thank you. You too.